Okay, now we go over to te a telephone now, and on the other end must be a Chris. Good morning, Chris. Good morning, JD. Yeah, now come on, tell me where you are. You're not in Exmouth, are you, or, or Exeter? No, I'm in Ex I'm in London. You're in Ex London? In London, Ex uh, the Excel Centre in London. OK, right. Well, I did see yesterday you were somewhere else, according to your map. Where were you then? I was at... Oh, uh, well, I was at the Tower of London. Yes, I thought Chris has been naughty and he's gone to the Tower of London. <laughs> yeah, but I, I could only really see three exhibits. They're not very good for wheelchair access. Dead. No, they, they probably aren't, actually, because they haven't actually got round to that. I hope they do, actually. Yeah, I do, but I don't think wheelchair access was quite a thing when it was built. And uh, no, no. I've been there when I was a little boy many moons ago with my school. Yeah. I remember that. But that was nice. But it was, um, you know, it's it's not wheelchair access, of course, is it? So why no. are you in London? Now, come on, why aren't you doing your programme right now? Uh, because I wanted the day off. No, that, that's not applicable. Come on. The, no, the real thing is... We're at, we're at the... Um, the Beck Show, which is... Um, I can't remember what that stands for now. Oh, right. Training technology. Yeah, there it's you go. the um, Education and Technology Show. Ah, uh, right. OK, well, that's that's good. So what are you going to find out for me? <laughs> well, we've already seen the stand about a camera which reads to you. Yeah. Um, you shine this device on your page and it reads the words back. Really? That's it's good. Called, it's called OrCam. That's I thought it was very useful. Well, you, can you bring one back and then you can do your whole show from home, can't you? Uh, no, because it only helps reading, oh, and right. I can read, so... <laughs> Are you it's sure? Useful, it, yeah, it's useful for other people. Ah, right, yes. Well, who that's... maybe can't read or so, and it, it, it's used in schools quite a lot so because is it, is it can give yes it is okay is it this can, is this exhibition all about you know technology for schools it's all about technology in education ah chris have you got an education so, uh well i hope so i <laughs> gone a bit past educating because I'm, I left school when I was 19. That was yesterday, was it? <laughs> uh, I wish, but no, it <laughs> was a few years ago. So that's why you were called to the Tower of London yesterday, were you? Because you've been a naughty boy. Uh, no, I went there on my own devices. Well, I do know, Chris, because I can actually follow you. You know I can follow you. So I know exactly where know. you are. So, <laughs> so there's no problem there, one. Yeah, so, I know. So what's happening now? What, what, are you, what are you, where are you in, in this exhibition? And what have you seen well, so far? Well, at the moment, we're in the entrance hall to Beck. 
um, and I seen the old cam, the camera with reached you. We saw a little diddly computer. Uh-huh. It was an Intel computer. I know, I'll hand you over to Will. He can tell you all about it. OK, thank you. JP, hello. Hello there, mate. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, a very little box. A little box? Like, um, uh, like about the size of a, a ready meal, something like that. Right. But it would it replaces a rack server. A rack uh, server. They they compressed their chips into a very very small space. Right. And okay. Uh, so we got to, we got to, we got to say it's not the type of chips that you go down to the fish and chip shop. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, that, yes. We've got, we got, we got to get it correct. I'm afraid because we are broadcasting yes. live. Okay, yes. Well, in, that's what... In, Intel just make things smaller and smaller. Yes. Is uh, what it, yeah, yeah. They, they were making them more and more powerful, but now it's smaller and smaller. And this particular box is going to be a new box which will be certified by Dolby. Oh, wait. Uh, they, they're hoping. Right. So the sound will be better. Right. It'll be able to process sound. Right. But um, how much it will cost, I don't know. Whether it will solve our studio's problems remains to be seen. Right, well, we have to, we have to bring one back and try it out. We'll try. I'll give you back, I'll give you back to, to Chris. OK, thank you very much. As you know, guys, he, uh, they're not in the studio. They're in London at this very moment in time. And Chris is now here back again. Hi, Chris. Yeah, hi, JD. Yeah, the computer's tiny. Uh-huh. So that might help the studio, except I'm sure it's probably quite expensive. I'm sure it is, actually. So have you got the money for it? Can you buy us one? Uh, no, I think you're going to have to buy it because the producers <laughs> can buy everything. Well, I'm, af I'm afraid the producer's putting his bill in for, the, for this week's uh, programme. <laughs> this okay. high-tech technology. <laughs> so, okay. yes. So, yes, well, I'll try that one. OK, so what are you What are you guys going to do right now? Are you off to the coffee machine, or are you just going to have uh, another wonder about? Going to have another wonder about. OK. Um, and I don't think we can... It's quite noisy in here, so... That's doing, right. That's, that's... Doing, uh, the per getting the person on the stand to talk to you as well, right. well doesn't what... really work. So Chris, what you got to I do? Think... All you got to do is yeah. stand in the middle and shout out, shout out, OK? At the top of your voice, and that should do it. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll get... To Russell yes. for 11.15. Right. And I think he'll ring the studio, not me. Really? Why? Because you, yeah. you don't know how to? Or you haven't got the technology? No, I, I know how to. <laughs> you do. And just, I, just, I think if he uses his system, it will come out on his end better okay. than if we use our system. Right, so I don't need the two bait bean tins and a piece of string to communicate with you. No, okay. we don't have a very long bit of string <laughs> to communicate all the way from Exeter. Yeah. How far? How far is it from Exeter to London? Uh, to I'll, London. Fi I'll find out and let you know in our next phone call. OK, thank you very much. I, I, I look forward to that, Chris. Um, OK, so... OK, no, see you in a bit, then. OK, I'll speak to you in a bit. Uh, okay, we'll get Russell to ring you at 11.15. OK, about. Thank you very much. OK, bye. Bye.